It is so late to be going out. I want to go to bed. So, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm excited and a little bit nervous. And Austin is chaos. <laughs> Hi friends, how are ya? Oh, wow, we got a cuddly boy today. Welcome back to my channel for another vlog is a fun filled vlog. Oh, I, I have a lot to catch up on. First, the reason I look so disheveled and tired is a lovely day today. We had a couple's massage. So I think I mentioned in a vlog recently that Jordy and I, as our gifts to each other, we planned half days of like events for each other instead of like physical gifts. So his day, we recreated our first date. I only got a little bit of footage, but um, we went to the same coffee shop, had a picnic, and then we went to Cidercade, which is like an arcade here in Austin. And then we went to the same restaurant that we went to. It's funny because both of our plans, the restaurants gave us like free champagne because they're like, oh, it's you're celebrating a year, that's cute. And I don't drink, but I was like, it's free, it's a half glass, I'll drink it. And both times I was like, whew. Anyways, my day was we went to lunch, um, got huge oysters, because we both love oysters, couples massage, and then we rented a boat. I got these like retro boats. So that was so much fun. And today's gonna be fun. Um, I got in my Thrive Market box, thank goodness they are partnering with me on this video, but I am out of snacks whenever Jordy visits. I go through snacks real fast. And um, while he's here, I wanna use his muscles because my new rug is here, the crazy jungle rug. I'm excited to see it. So we're gonna move furniture around, roll out the rug, see how it looks, see if it's too excessive for the space. And tonight, I'm actually starting the vlog a night early. This boy, this boy is so needy. He's so needy. I'm starting the vlog a day early because tomorrow, I don't know how much we'll be with other people, so I don't know just like how chaotic it might be. Of course, I'm taking y'all along, but I wanted to do just like a an opportunity to get to know me and Jordy a little bit better. Um, I thought it'd be fun to like react to some assumptions just because it opens up conversation in a different way. So we're gonna do that tonight too. I think that's everything I wanted to tell you. Sorry for the longest intro ever. Let's let's look at the rug. A different unit in the building had a ruggable box sitting outside of its door, and I was like, weird, I just ordered one of those. Huh, wonder what mine's gonna get here. Thought nothing of it. Walked by this box for four days, thought nothing of it. And then I was like, I should check my order and see when, <laughs> when it's supposed to be delivered. And I opened it and there's just a picture of it on someone's door, which is in a different building, different floor completely. I just thought it was very funny. So, whoa. I think I like it. Here's what we got. It, it's a lot of personality. Do we like all these colors with the sailboat? Or is it too, I, see y'all know my style has always been pretty neutral, pretty minimal, whites, creams, earthy, woodsy type things. So to have that, this was already kind of bold for me. The sail, the sailboat. Plus this, I like it, I do. It's just, it's a new phase for me, so let me know your thoughts. Like I said, I can switch out the top of this rug for way cheaper than buying a new rug, which is really nice too if I get tired of it, but I think it's fun, and I think it'll really be softened and nice too when the curtains are here. Oh, look at it today. It's like a cloudy, overcast day, but it's just so beautiful. Okay, one last look at the whole thing for you guys to comment on. We got all the animals, the leopard, 
the giraffe, the flamingo. Wow, this is gonna be like, bring over your toddlers, we can all learn our animals together. Okay guys, it is South by Southwest week in Austin while I'm filming this right now, and Austin is chaos. Like even just driving a mile is like stressful. So I'm really glad that I don't have to go to the grocery store to get more snacks. Thank you to Thrive Market for partnering with me on this video. I'm sure you've heard me talk about Thrive Market by now, but they are an online organic grocery retailer um, that they have a variety of ton of different things and you pay a membership. I do the annual because it's $5 a month and then you have access to all their amazing things and so many of them are discounted. I love them because they have a lot of my favorite brands that are hard to find in the stores. Like if I were to find them myself, it would take me going to like four separate stores and I'm also now officially hooked on their brand. They have their own Thrive Market brand with a ton of just pantry staples that um, are really well priced. So let's see, I saved $16 on this order. If you don't make back your membership fee in savings by the end of the year, they'll refund you the difference. And then my little tip that I tell people is I always try to get at least $49 of things um, because then orders ship free, which is so nice. So little haul, this brownie mix. The first time I had it, I thought I ate gluten but no, it's just that good and it's gluten-free. I was like, no way can this be gluten-free, it's too good. By the way, if you have dietary restrictions, you can filter like so many different types of filters on their website, vegan, paleo, gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, nut-free, there's dozens and dozens and dozens of filters. I go through at least one of these a week. These are the Tangy Dijon Mustard Gluten-Free Pretzels from BitJoy. I got, I got some fun little road snacks because I knew Jordy would be here and I knew he'd be on the road. So I got some sea salt dark chocolate covered diced dates. I knew there was gonna be a lot of beans in that. Some dried mango, some regular dates. I've been eating a lot of dates lately whenever I want something sweet and they've been hitting the spot. This is like a spicy chili crisp oil. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Ketchup, I've needed it. I thought this just looked interesting. It's an artichoke spread dip. I don't know, maybe dip some crackers in it. I've also really wanted this flaky sea salt, um, the smell on sea salt, for the little pottery thing I made. I made this in pottery, and I wanna put sea salt in here, and or maybe sea salt on the top for easy access, and red pepper, still haven't decided, but been meaning to buy that for a while. Breadcrumbs, handy to have on hand for recipes. Pancake mix, just, you know, maybe we could do like a Sunday brunch. That. This is my haul this time. Um, I do still have that really good link active, so I recommend taking advantage of it while it is active because it could always change in the future. Thrivemarket.com slash Jancy. That'll get you 30% off your first order and it will also get you a free gift valued at up to $60. So it's a really generous one. I've had it for a couple months now and this will be handy too because we are cooking in tonight, which I'm thankful for because we've been doing a lot of eating out, which has been fun too. I'm gonna take out Max. And then we're gonna sit down and just hang out and chat for a bit before a very busy day tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be busy, let me tell you what. Okay, so I wanted to do this concept because I think it's honestly just interesting and I think people assume things that are very inaccurate sometimes and other times I'm like, how did you, how did you get that? Like, yeah, you're right. So Jordy's on board with this and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let him go through and choose the assumptions that he wants us to react to. So balls in your court. We'll pick like, you know, maybe like yeah. 10. Bryson says, I assume you've got him on the sand diet. It's where you only eat sand. Okay, this is going well. <laughs> Super good assumption, Bryson. <laughs> so somebody assumes that we are dating. Nailed it, William. These are all your friends. <laughs> These are all literally your friends. <laughs> you've never had a real fight. This is an assumption from somebody that I am not friends with. Not that you're not great. We were talking about this at lunch today. I was like, how do you define fight like is it actually common for couples to like scream and yell at each other because i've never been in that situation with any human before in my life but it's pretty sweet what <laughs> <laughs> but so i would say like in that sense i've never fought with anybody the thing about you is you your type of intimacy is like conversational and i think for you asking tough difficult questions is a form of intimacy. So I think that we've talked about controversial things that we both disagree on quite often, but I don't yeah. think that I would, I don't think I would define that as a fight. And we literally both be like, yeah, I don't agree with you, but like moving on mm -hmm. to the next thing. Like, I think we disagree. I don't, I don't think we enjoy the feeling of disagreeing. No. 
but we're okay saying how we feel about things. Yes. So usually we're like, all right, we got to get in here. I think this, you think this. All right, cool. Let's check back later. Some people enjoy being in that, like disagreeing and like talking about it for a long time. And, yeah, yeah. They enjoy like the thrill, I think. I think that I've pushed boundaries a lot more, not like boundaries, but with you than I have previously. Like I wouldn't push your own boundaries. Push my own boundaries. Yeah. Like I wouldn't even previously like voice a disagreement. Mm -hmm. I would just be like, okay. But with you, I actually have, I think the guts to be like, I don't agree with that, mm -hmm. which I don't know if that is our dynamic or if that's personal growth or if it's a mix of both. But yet again, I don't mm -hmm. know if other people would define that as a fight. I don't think I would, but I don't yeah. think I would get to a definable fight with someone really foreseeably ever. <laughs> yeah. We disagree all the time. We yeah. don't yell at each other. When we disagree about things, we don't really care that much. We're like, yeah. oh, you disagree. All right. Yeah. Assumption, Jordy does not like having such a public relationship. I would say I'm even more cautious about... I love having a public re relationship. I right. guess I'm just like not a... I, I'm not a blogger. I sometimes am more of like, hey, I'm gonna try to work really hard to batch film vlogs so that I don't have to vlog around you because I kind of mm -hmm. don't want to sometimes. And you're more like, don't stress yourself out. It's totally fine if you vlog. Like, I, I don't care if you do or if you don't. So like, don't, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And in real life, like I tried to talk about her every time I'm like on stage because it just makes everyone's life better. Yeah, it's really sweet. You're familiar with the pros and the cons Mm -hmm. of sharing things online yeah and like that's not something I like drug you into it was a world that you were already kind of in yeah. even though yours is less personal you still have I'm very you're, used to it yeah you're used yeah. to it you're aware of it assumption Jordy likes to have deep combos Michelle likes to go on comedy did they call me Michelle no they didn't actually I thought they did but they oh didn't. my bad um yep you like to have deep combos and I like coffee dates yes you can see a future together yeah I think it's stupid to date someone if you can't see a future with it them. It is incredibly stupid to date somebody long distance when you're both it's out work. jobs and it's a lot of... Also, yeah. the thing that I don't get is like when you date someone, literally two things are going to happen. Mm -hmm. You're going to break up or you're going to get married. Yeah. Or I guess you can just date forever until you die. That's the mm -hmm. third. But like either you're committing to them for forever or you're going to break up. And like both those things are kind of serious. I, there's a, I think there's a third here. And I think if you're younger than like ready to get married age. Mm -hmm. I think it actually this is a hot take for some of you maybe. Mm -hmm. I think it's actually really important and great to date, practice dating, to learn how to treat people and oh, yeah. to figure out what you like. Yes. But if you're trying to get married and you're dating casually and you expect both of those things to happen at the same time, that's gonna suck. So good luck with that. Y'all compete on who can be the quirkiest slash weirdest in private frequently. 100%. <laughs> oh, that's so true. That's really, really good. Jordy is much more politically liberal than you are. I'd say not much more, but I am more. Uh, we, we talk about politics a lot because... We probably differ most on economics. Yeah. I think it's important to recognize that people with varying political beliefs, whether it's small or large, whether it's like disagreeing on a couple points or literally all the other points, can still date. Can be in relation, can be friends. Yeah. And you can have friends. discussions about it kindly. We have discussions all the time because I still yeah. am trying to like learn more about so many different topics because I'm still trying to figure out where I do fall on things mm -hmm. and I don't know where I fall on so many topics. And so. Yeah. And I have super liberal hot takes all the time. Okay, pick one more really good one. Okay. Uh, you are wearing the pants in this relationship. Me? Yeah. I feel like it actually is very 50. I want to hear I want to hear your, um, your answer. Let's see. Who wears the pants? I, so define the terms. Wearing the pants means paying for things and making Calling decisions. the shots. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say we pay for things similar, like similarly equally. Yeah. I rarely have an opinion, but I always give it. Mm. So. If it's helpful. If it's helpful, help. I'm like, all right, let's do this. But I also try to like, a lot of times I make the decision of like, no, you're deciding this because this is your thing in your life. And then you go, oh. Okay, I guess we'll do this and be like, all right, we do that. I actually don't like to make the decision yeah, a lot. Yeah, you don't like it, but yeah. I make the decision. It's like right. extra mental labor. Mm -hmm. So a, a lot of times I'm like, can you just... <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Are you going to choose one more? Yeah. Okay, last one. Um, you're tired of long distance. Ooh, that's a good last one. Long distance is hard, but I actually am really thankful for this season because we're not going to get it back once it's over. Mm -hmm. And I was actually thinking about it today. I was like, I kind of have the best of both worlds. Like, I have like the like single perks of like, you know, when I know I don't get to see you, I can just make like plans with girlfriends every single night. Mm -hmm. 
go to bed super early, whatever. And then I have like the really awesome intentional time when I'm with you. And long distance is hard and I don't think I could do it for more than two years, but I'm not tired of it yet because I still think I have a lot of growing and healing and learning to do on my own before I can very, very healthfully live near you all the time. You know what I mean? My answer is I am tired of long distance. It sucks. I wish I could be right by you all the time, but I know that it is the best option for us right now. Not just in our lives. Yes, in our lives because we're, you know, there's a lot of moving parts still. It's what is the best for us right now, actually. So. Yeah, it's like it's like eating veggies. Does the pizza sound better? Yeah, but eating veggies is good. Yeah. So at we long distance veggies. right now is like eating veggies. Yeah, we can't stand vegetables. Vegetables suck. Yeah. A lot of y'all were very sweet. I am reading over his shoulder, and I do mm -hmm. appreciate the kindness and the sweetness. That is really kind, and it makes me feel confident with continuing to share more parts of my life and dating. So I love y'all. Um, we are gonna put on pajamas and make some steaks at home. And we're watching a show called Lupin. Is that what it's called? I think so. Um, it was French, but they've like dubbed it over in English and it's actually really good. So we're into that. We're gonna be watching that. We're gonna have a night in and I'll pick back up the vlog cam tomorrow. South by Southwest day. Yeah. Okay. And all the pals are flying in. Mm -hmm. It'll be fun. Love you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? Um, I'm excited for today. I think it's gonna be a very fun day. I don't remember if I mentioned this. I might have already, but the South by Southwest show tonight starts at 11:30 p.m. It will probably run late. It will probably literally start at midnight. I'm the gal that's asleep by like 10 normally, so we'll see how tonight goes. But um, Jordy's basically being Uber today. All of his bandmates are arriving on different flights, so he's just back and forth to the airport. And I offered for people to hang out here because they can't check into their hotel till later today. And I just love having people over. So I've just been kind of like tidying, getting everything ready to have company over. I selfishly really want to go to Nixta. It's like my favorite taco spot in all of Austin. And I tried to plan my birthday dinner there, sent out this whole group text, and then realized that they're closed Sunday nights. So I asked if we could go tonight. I'm really hoping that that works out as a dinner spot. It's just my favorite and it's fully gluten-free and it's weird and it's quirky and I just love it. Um, I feel like I had something else important to share. Oh, okay. Um, you know the bakery Levon, I think is how you say, from New York with like the really thick cookies. One of my fellow creator friends who was recently diagnosed with celiac, Lucy Fink, posted on her stories that she got gluten-free ones delivered. So I was like, what? Go to their website, they were having free delivery that week. And so I ordered half a dozen cookies and they get here today. I think that they recently came out with gluten-free cookies. But I will say, they, they do the whole thing where they're like, this isn't a normal bakery, so you know, be cautious of cross-contamination, which is how it goes when you order anything from a not dedicated gluten-free facility. So if you're also celiac, keep that in mind. But I'm just like refreshing tracking because I can't wait to try them. Look what I got here. This is six cookies, and I wonder if it's, it's four pounds. It's oh, four pounds. It's gotta be a PS4 in there. <laughs> what, what does that come to per cookie? Cook math. 0.75 pounds? Yes. All right, Philip says yes. This is Philip, by the way, everybody. Cook math. Philip, introduce yourself. I'm Philip. Well, hello. <laughs> Uh, Philip actually has some great music. I think I think I might have used it in a vlog before. Maybe. Oh my gosh, guys! Look at how these things are massive. These are so large. Look at that. They look like rocks. Yeah. Okay. She's pretty dense. Not gonna lie. It's the chocolate chip walnut. I'll try mm -hmm. this piece. I'm a little underwhelmed. It is their first attempt at gluten free. Yeah, I've had the non GIA and it's like. Way better? You had the regular? It's an unreal experience, yeah. Really? Did you have them warm? Yeah. I wonder if I like microwave this. I think, honestly. Should we show that? Yeah. Okay, here we go. <coughs> oh, yeah, that made it a little softer. Oh, wow. Wait, wait, wait. Was that the trick? Oh. Mmm. That's a trick. Mm -hmm. That's so much better. This was a fun experience, guys. Nice. I've been waiting for a week for this experience. Ooh. This has been great. Ooh. We have another pal in town, everybody. This is William. 
Hi. The William Henson. Um, I'm drinking some caffeine. What is the What is the plan, George? What's we are gonna go load in for the gig. Mm -hmm. Then we'll chill. Then we'll play the gig. That's a great plan. And hopefully we get tacos. You want to take a nap? We could take a little nap before heading back out. Oh, my piercings still aren't fully healed from the ones I got in December. So I'm always <laughs> so nervous that he's gonna make them bleed. Let's take a nap. Let's take a nap. <gasps> Let's take a nap. <laughs> We're gonna take a nap. Oh, napped. Did some work. It is so late to be going out. I want to go to bed but I'm also really excited I have a lot of friends coming so it'll be a special thing to be there so I'm gonna rally that being said I am going to probably just end the vlog on some concert footage so I know it was a busy couple days honestly don't really even know what I filmed but hopefully it was a decent vlog um thank you all for being here thanks again to Thrive Market for partnering with me on this video too I will have that link down below thrivemarket.com slash mccalljancy to get those couple perks, the 30% off your first order and then the free gift valued it up to $60. So, I love you. Let's go see a show. Every time we're in the same room, our friends are around, but I just see you. Well, it is what it is, but I wish it was different. Why can't we be friends? It was so much easier.